Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fashion Bunker Day Cup here. We're going to be talking Chanel tightening their grip on freebies and samples. Tightening them to the point that, you know, I made a video about this just a couple of days ago, but uh, we're now live streaming. And uh, I am. I just received um, a chat from a fellow uh, co-chatter of the live stream telling me something. Before I tell you what uh, this person told me, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. Pew, 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 pew. Join me on Patreon, Super Decab all spelled together for special extra access to extra perks there as well. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live. I live stream every Saturday. You're all welcome to join and tune into the live stream. Um, here are my wonderful co-chatters. Now listen, let me read Henry's comment. He just commented this a while ago and then we thought, oh, let's make a topic about this. Henry said, I've noticed the effects of Chanel tightening up on samples. Whenever I get given them the samples, they add the transaction to my account even if I didn't buy anything that day. So they know not to give me more of these samples in the future. Henry said, it happened today. The sales associate had to have my email before they gave me the samples. Henry, Henry, do y'all want to share with us what samples you was given? Or did you? So, uh, okay. So Henry says, before I was given batches and batches of Le Lift and Hydra, Hydra Beauty samples without emails or without scanning. And now they gave me two of those tiny red camellia flower samples and I had to fill out a form. I'm speechless. Henry said, also, why are the number one samples literally one milliliter? So stingy. Okay, you guys. Uh, now, you know, I already made a video about this because I received these the information from somebody trustworthy uh, that works the works in France. And they did receive, allegedly, I've seen it with my eyes, allegedly, that email with photos of Chanel marketing, taking photos, taking screenshots from Instagram, from people's Instagram accounts, where people photograph their collections online. And they literally use these, Chanel uses these photos, allegedly, to tell their workers allegedly, in the beauty boutiques, allegedly, hey, you got to stop giving out samples, so many of them. So the fact that Henry now had to have his stuff scanned, the one milliliter Camellia samples scanned so that in the system it says that he got it, so that he wouldn't get it again. Wow. So there's this is how they're... Okay, I didn't know this, for example. Actually... I had a sneaky suspicion about this because let me tell you. So first, let me say what I thought about because I didn't know that they were going to go this stingy even on one milliliter samples. Ollie says, I was at the fashion boutique yesterday and got several of the number one line. I never get these emails with the scan code. Just great relationship with sales associate. I never get those emails with the scan. Okay. The email with the scan code has nothing to do with what Henry had to do though. Ollie, let's... Uh, Henry... What Henry's saying in the store... Before they gave him the samples, they had to, on his client account, they had to scan those samples in so that on his client account, it would show that he was given the samples so that Chanel knows he got them. So if he goes to another Chanel store, they can see in his account that he already got those samples. So they're not going to give them to him, most luckily, again. Penelope said, I didn't get any samples yesterday when I bought some new red camellia things. This is insane. So this experience that I've had with this, uh, that I was shown this photo of Chanel saying allegedly to their workers, hey, you're giving out too many samples. we got to cut back on that. Like, this is not acceptable. We don't want to see on Instagram people posting too many freebies at once. Now this, 
also brings me to the topic that uh, I really want to touch base on because on my video that I posted just a day ago about Chanel tightening their grip on samples, go check out that video. I'm not going to re-explain to you what I said in that video, but there's a theory behind this that I believe is a theory and I explained that theory in the other video. So go check out that video. But as um, under that video, I received one interesting comment, which... I answer to, as Super Jacob does when I'm irritated by just some comments, because why was I irritated? I'm going to read this comment from, it's from, a, a, it's under that video. I'm not going to say their name here because, you, of course, they publicly published on a public video, a public comment. So I could technically read their name, but no, you can go and check it out yourself. I'm not going to read their name out here. Anyway, this person writes, I think this is about perception that if something is free, then it appears to have no value. Chanel is on a serious mission. This is what this, I'm just reading. Don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Chanel is on a serious mission to improve and maintain the status of the brand. In no area of any business does cutting back on samples or price increases, etc., equate to a proportional increase in employee salary. Just for the record, <clears throat> what uh, this person is um, saying here is that what I said in my video about like, hey, prices of the bags keep going up, salaries are not going up. I also said a lot of other things in that video, but this person decided just to use that, taking it slightly out of context as well, using that point and saying, you know, let me read it again. In no area of any business does cutting back on samples or price increases, etc., equate to a proportional increase in employee salary. Talent acquisition is more expensive than what you may think. Oh, God, here comes an educational moment. You are right that a part of this is about image, and they are trying to control it. All right, Miss Thing, let me tell you where it's at. I answered to this person. And I said, not hiring new people is one thing. Firing a bunch of already hired people, as Chanel allegedly did, and I have a couple of friends who lost their job, so I still say allegedly, but firing a bunch of already hired people is a whole other can of worms, which you seem to have not wanted to mention in your comment, even though I mentioned it in my video. Oh, and another thing. They have lowered the commissions since, you know, the bag prices went up. So it would not be fair to give the sales associates the same percentage of commission anymore as before. Well, since the bags now cost more, allegedly. So that logic is legitimized. But increasing people's salaries and maybe also letting them have their lunch break each day at work is too much to ask for. Because again, allegedly, as we know, allegedly, uh, reports of uh, sales associates at Chanel because allegedly a lot have been fired. The ones that are still working are super stressed. They have so much work to do. They don't even have time to go to lunch. A lot of times when you come into a Chanel fashion boutique after 4 p.m. and then you criticize the sales associate later on in your posts on Twitter or whatever, oh my God, the service was terrible at Chanel. Maybe because that person servicing you didn't have time to have a lunch break. Maybe that person didn't have time to drink freaking water. Maybe that sales associate was dehydrated, super tired of answering the same freaking question about do you have those freaking double C earrings with the crystals in them that we know always fall out. People are exhausted. They're at their limits end. So you got to understand when you come into a Chanel boutique, it's not that every Chanel employee that works in their boutiques is out to get you and they're assholes. They're not. Sometimes they really had no time since days to have lunch and their managers won't let them because like, well, sorry, there's no time. You'll eat later, whatever. So you come into the store. The people are super overworked, overstressed. Salaries are the same as they were three years ago, even though the prices of everything keeps going up. But so salaries, no, no. Why should they go up? And on top of that, you don't get a lunch break, honey, boo-boo, ciao. So maintaining the image of the brand does not equal behaving as tyrant capitalists who think they own their staff. So 
this person probably now hates me because I dared comment back. I'm like, girl, if you want to educate me on how freaking capitalism works and how companies work, you want to educate me? Get ready because I will come for you and I will educate you back. If you can't take it, don't leave a comment on my channel. Just don't. It's as simple as that. So now back to uh, the question at hand. They're scanning samples so that they have in your system. I, I can't. Now, on top of that, I'm Louis. This is another... Oh, you know what? We're opening so many can of worms here. This is a really interesting topic. Bear with me. Louis, who is a lovely, lovely uh, subscriber of mine. I'm Louis. He's a big supporter of the Fashion Bunker. He um, has his own YouTube channel, by the way. So go be sure to go check him out. He also talks about fashion and perfumes. And um, I'm Louis. Also loves Chanel. So he uh, told me uh, that he, you know, and he just said it here publicly. So that's why I can share with you in the chats. He said, I almost never get freebies. Ha ha ha. At Chanel. This is also something very interesting. Um, Louis, I, I think you shared on your own channel where you're at. So we can freely, we can say, oh, no, I don't know. I need an okay from you if I can say where you are at so that we can explain this situation as well. This is, and this is something, uh, JPM SF says, I went in my local boutique today to pick up some skincare and I didn't receive any ready-made samples this time. My sales associate did make me multiple samples, but nothing was ready-made like usual. They do that sometimes too. Okay, yeah, it's cool, says Louis. All right, so let me get to this before I forget. Louis is in Texas. Louis is originally from Mexico. So Louis has a slight Mexican Spanish accent. So those shady bitches, and this is something that applies to all of you luxury stores in Texas, okay? This is now, let's dial it back a notch. We're not throwing shade just at Chanel. This is this applies to all of y'all's bitches out there. Texas, yeah? Yeehaw, all your Texans out there. So white clients that come into the boutique, purchase almost nothing, get a pretty load of freebies. Louis comes in, buys like four perfumes, and skincare, whatever it is he buys, barely gets any any sample. Why? Well, because he doesn't look white. He doesn't look like the rich spending customer. So how are we going to address this internally with all of these brands that are literally racially profiling their customers and that are giving different treatment to customers according to how their skin color is and how their accents are? How are we going to address this, luxury brands? Because this ain't luxury. You treat your customers according to how they look, skin, and how good or bad their English is. By the way, everything is in the eye of the beholder, right? Just a couple of days ago, some Oompa Loompa, throw me in some Oompa Loompa um, emojis here, uh, told me um, that, uh, well, you know, honey, you shouldn't be doing YouTube because your English isn't good enough. <laughs> like, girl, okay. So, um, a mother tongue is not good enough to do YouTube. So everything is the eye of the beholder, right? That's fine. Let them throw shade at me. But, th but this type of, this is racial profiling, you guys, at its worst. You enter into a store ready to drop a coin. And then they like scan you like, oh girl, she looks Mexican. <laughs> We're not going to give her samples. Excuse me, take a couple seats and let me teach you and educate you about who the F.I. is and where the F.I. come from. I come from love. I come from an educated home and environment. And I come from understanding and I come from intelligence, both intellectual and emotional intelligence. What you, however, lack is empathy, love, and most importantly, you've been poisoned by the racial bug. So Texas is famous for that, we all know, but this ain't it. And this applies to all you luxury bitches out there. You do not throw shade at your customers that way. And you do not belittle them by scanning them 
making sure that they see that you're scanning them like from head to toe and that you just want to get rid of them. Okay, here, buy, buy. Oh, you want to buy three perfumes? You want to spend $400? Okay, here, go, go out, go out. We don't want to see you in here. Ew, bad image. Heaven forbid we were to give you samples. We don't want you to come back to our store. So we are not going to treat you well. You look bad for us. We don't want you here. So we are not going to give you samples. We're not going to treat you nicely, even though you dropped three, four hundred dollars here for perfumes and creams, because we don't want you to come back. That is the bigotry and the mentality behind all of this. And it's disgusting. It's vile. And it has to freaking stop. And I know it's easy for me to say because I got the white skin and I got you know, all the language skills and I can just go into these boutiques and I can throw a pretty shade at a bitch who dares do this to friends of mine or to me. But if you your entire life living within a system that is built up wrongly that way, if you your entire life have been treated that way, have been put down, constantly put down with these little snarky remarks or attitudes, it's not always about what people say. It's also about what they don't say. It's about that extra moment of silence before they say something. You can read between the lines. You know when somebody's hating you with a passion. Okay? If you've been treated that way for years on end, you don't react anymore. At a certain point, you become numb to it as well. So it's easy for, that's why I said it's easy for me to say, fight for it. A lot of people are sick and tired. You don't have the energy anymore to fight for it. So you go into a boutique, they're being assholes. You're just like, yeah, I'm used to it. Just here, I just want the perfume. Thank you, bye. <sighs> this has to stop. So I am talking about it. Because awareness has to be raised. Reading between the lines. Exactly. If you know, you know. So. Richard says, like, they get to decide who pays their wages. Hmm. Olivo said, I wrote an email to the store manager at that store about the event. Pretty sure I'm blacklisted there now. I'll be joining the person on fleek walk of shame. <laughs> so, <laughs> Just the opposite. says, speak, brother D. And, no, honestly, you guys, and I am... Uh, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I have such a wonderful community here in the Fashion Bunker. We are a plethora of all beautiful colors of the rainbow, all genders, all ages. We're, we're a bunch of, of, of every, we are human, we are humanity. And I do feel privileged. I do feel super privileged that I can be friends with and, and talk to wonderful people from all sort, all parts of the world, all different hues of white beige chocolate, turquoise, because I also love Smurfs, Everything out there, everything that is out there, I am so happy to see that actually we all have a wonderful communication with each other. Cultures meet, we talk, we share. This is quite rare to find on social media nowadays. So I'm honored, thrilled. To me, this is, this is really, really, really special. And I do not take it for granted, ever. So when I hear from you guys that some shit went down, that somebody was mistreated, that there was this racial profiling going on, I get furious because I feel like my own family has been attacked. Because my own family has been attacked. You are my family. My chosen family, but you are my family nevertheless. So for me, making a video like this is important. It's important to say these things. And it's important to always speak up. Gary says, I was treated like shit at MS Boutique in Panama City. Uh, asked to see a passport holder. Uh, the sales associate took me out of the store uh, and show the passport holder that was in the display window. Oh, wow. So they did, maybe they didn't have another one. Maybe that was the only one they had. Uh, Alexa says, my number one fragrance mist came in an open package with a tear on the side and no plastic wrapping how do you handle returns when there is no seal no sound uh pf the fragrance either i ordered online 
Patrick Michael Varnador just became a patron. Thank you so much, pa uh, Patrick. Let me pop your cherry, girl. And then I'm going to get back to you, Alexa. Uh, be careful. You're, you're, you're making a mistake. I'll tell you why. Patrick, my love, are you ready, darling? We're popping a royal blue cherry just for you, Pat. Patrick, Patrick. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this one was good. I love the smell of gunpowder. Thank you so much, Patrick. We popped a good share. Oh, Patrick. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, Alexa, watch my unboxing video of the uh, fragrance mist of number one. Alexa, but I'll tell you here quickly as well. Uh, Chanel is trying to be more sustainable. So they are not wrapping any of these products in plastic because they don't want to use plastic anymore. And also, uh, the boxes inside don't have that extra layer of, protect, of protective cardboard, so they're not using that either. Um, so there's just that, to be very clear about that. That's why you did not get plastic wrapping. None of the number one sellable products have it, and that's because they want to be more sustainable. Um, and also, there's no seal. That's correct. They do not put a seal on it. Now, the fact that the package was torn, well, that's, they mishandled it when they were taking it out of the stock and putting it into your box, obviously. But uh, yeah, just letting you know, you will not get one sealed in, in, in a plastic wrapper because they're not doing that. They're, they're trying to be sustainable. Um, I, so Barbara says, I think diversity is one of the most beautiful things in this world and don't understand racism. However, I feel that the issue is more of an elitist one. Would love to discuss this with you. Of course, but elitism also stems from that need to separate and elevate yourself from the masses. And then that elitism comes from the need to dominate over somebody else. And then once you are elitist, you have to find reasons to be better than others. What, what are your reasons? What? You earn more money than somebody else? Or you're going to try to find other reasons to make yourself feel better about yourself? Because somebody, you know, and that's how you invent racism. Racism was invented. It wasn't there from the get-go. It literally it was created to be elitist for so that so, so that a couple of assholes could justify the fact that they own the world. That, that's it's super easy. It's like done. Conversation done. There's nothing more to say. You know what I mean? Alexa says, thanks, Deco, but the packaging was so flimsy and could easily break. I don't like that. Yeah, it's relatively flimsy. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Melanie Rice, thank you for becoming a patron. Hold on. Let's pop your... Ch Ooh, Melanie. You're getting some platinum color here with a golden ring. Okay, a little patron moment, you guys. Wait, let me... Is it focusing? Look at that. You got the super day cup. Platinum with gold. Let's pop your cherry. Oh, oh my God. It's so bizarre. Each one of them pops in a different way. It's like each one of them has a special character. You know what I mean? This is insane. Mm. Yes, queen. <laughs> we be popping. Rich Mitt says, I feel good about myself because I have feathers and a beak. Yeah, that's nice. Rabbit Dougie. <laughs> Unique says, speaking of elitism, received a survey from Meta Regarding a purchase of a virtual reality headset I made in which they asked a lot of questions about what class I felt I was in. Hmm. <gasps> this world, you guys, we are going down such a dangerous path. This right here. We're one step away from a, hand, a handmaid's, ta handmaid's tale becoming reality and even worse. How can it get worse than that? Difficult, but it can. Barbara says, don't hate me. We can agree to disagree on this, but let's be honest. This is how it is with brands. Don't tell me that there isn't a drop of elitism when one purchases brands. I'm being super candid. Many people buy it because of elitism. But not everybody. Not everybody. But many people do. Many people will buy it just to show off that they have it. 
many people will buy it just to make a picture on Instagram with it and call it a day and then buy again something else the next day. Yes, but we cannot generalize. Not everyone is like that. I do believe the majority, though, does it for all the wrong reasons. Uh, Ollie says, there is bad in the world. There is good in the world. Be the good. Oh, and on that note, let's end this video. What a wonderful, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And so let's end on Caroline, Caroline Zakowska. I mean, they need to justify their advent calendars. Okay. <laughs> Paris Vision says, you're right, Jacob. This direction we are going in, unfortunately, is directed by the most ignorant of humanity. And I'm Louis says, every time my sister wants to buy something from a luxury boutique, my claws come out and all the time I'm always next to her just to make sure she doesn't get treated like I get treated. This has to stop. Show more empathy, love. You do not, nobody has the right. You do not have the right. Nobody has the right to judge people according to their skin color. You just, you don't have that right. And how dare you? How they, or by how they speak or by how their accent is. You, do not, you simply do not have the right to judge people according to their skin color or how they speak. You don't. You just, you don't. Bottom line, you don't. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.